everybody, Phil here with Houston Kiteboarding. We have the new Lift E foil in, the Lift 3. Um, we've been on these for about a month now and selling them, selling lots of them actually. Production issues abound, so we're kind of getting them in weekly and uh, a lot of them are pre sold but give, give us a call if you're interested in getting one. Um, I made this video to answer some questions and kind of go through a general review of all the equipment. Um, I want to pay particular attention to the accessories like the bags and the covers and that kind of stuff. People are always asking what it comes with. Um, so this will kind of take you through all of that. If you guys have questions, feel free to give us a call on our phone number or shoot us an email. We work uh, seven days a week and we're at your disposal for any of your tech questions. That's it. So when I say production issues, what I mean is making enough e-foils for the demand based on kind of global shipping issues and just manufacturing um, output uh, overseas and here domestically um, yeah but Lyft's doing a great job they're they're getting a lot of units out you know we've had um, many come through uh, our shop already and uh, more on the way so these are all the different covers um, and cases that come with a Lyft e-foil right now everything's kind of sold in kits just because of the production uh, shortages so when you buy a twelve thousand dollar e-foil from Lyft um, this is everything that comes in the kit. Uh, battery, that's a lift case battery right there, lift pack battery. Um, the fast charger to the left, which charges that battery in two hours for a two hour runtime. The hard sided case, which will hold all of the components for um, right there for uh, shipping on an airplane. A really nice board bag. Um, you can see here that the board is in and then a wing uh, cover that goes over the front and the rear wings. Um, the covers for the wings and the board bag have plastic zippers so they don't rust, which is great, or corrode. The bag also has a nice slice down the center there on the bottom, allowing you to keep the mast installed on the board, which is the main move because it's just a pain to kind of go off and on. Last and final item is the Bluetooth controller, which is really important if you want to go ride an e-foil. And 12 grand gets you all of this stuff in a kit. So this is a 4-2 e-foil, um, one of the first ones we got. Came in, uh, this is how they're packaged. They're in boxes with a bunch of foam and, and cray paper and all that kind of stuff. Um, so new stuff for the e Lift 3. Um, very small changes to the board. The board actual geometry changed a bit. They kind of cut the tail off. You'll see, you know, if you're familiar with the old ones, you can kind of see the back's just flat cut off instead of having kind of that rounded tail. So all of the sizes are a bit um, smaller, even though the volume's the same. So I made them a little thicker, so the volume's the same, and then cut the back off so they're shorter, which is just great um, from a transport and a style setting. I really like the way the new ones look. So that's the biggest change. The uh, uh, length of the mast uh, it comes in a longer mast option, which is a 32 inch, which is the main move. Everybody should get the 32 inch unless they have some sort of shallow water riding constraint. Um, a 32 inch mast gives you about 28 inches of functional height um, out there, which is just awesome. That's perfect. 28 inches is perfect. And you still have plenty of leverage on that foil with even with the motor to kind of, you know, get get things cranking and banking if you want to really want to get aggressive. Um, the issue with going with a mass that's too long, like longer than 32, would be giving that foil leverage on you so it's harder to turn. And that's why we don't all ride, you know, three foot uh, masts every day, right? So this is the 4.2 Pro model. Um, this client had purchased it with a folding prop option. You, you can see it installed here. Um, the folding prop has no guard and it folds back to provide very little drag resistance. So it feels just like a surf foil. So you can kind of tow yourself into tanker waves or open ocean swell and then ride the swell with the motor off and that um, prop folded back for minimal drag. So it feels just like a surf foil setup. Um, this, this client, as well as all other folding props we've sold, all those clients have either a full, a regular or standard prop with a guard for their unit, or they have multiple units, and they have another unit with a guard uh, and a standard prop on it. Super important for, for uh, friends and family, anybody you get on there, to be using an e-foil with a guard, and then the standard prop's just going to have a very um, easy kind of organic power setting where you, you know, push the, push the throttle and it's going to kind of ramp up. 
the folding props have been on and off. You know, it's either on and producing thrust or it's off. There's no like in between. So we weighed this unit, um, the 4.2 with uh, out the mast um, installed. The board weighs 24 pounds. You can see right there. Um, might as well weigh it while you have it out. So on the water, the biggest difference in the Lift 3 versus the Lift 1 and 2 E-foils is the longer mast and then the wings are different. So, you know, Lift is, came out with their um, Surf V2 series, which is a higher aspect version of their old classic hydrofoil wings. Lift wings have always been the best. They're always, they're, they've just always been the best. Um, and that's no exception to these. They're just higher aspects, so you get better battery life, and they're a lot um, faster, or I'd say like rangier. They go faster and they go slower. Um, they have kind of a really big range. So the board you see Hana riding here is uh, the 4.9 in the blue with a 32-inch mast and a standard prop, and then she has the Surf V2 200 wing, which is kind of the recommended intermediate, like middle-of-the-road wing. Another one we sell a lot of is the 250 Surf V2, which is gonna be better for bigger guys or people who wanna go slower or maybe you know teach their friends and stuff. Um, people who get into the lift E-foils, a lot of times do other things like kite foiling or wing foiling. And the Surf V2 250 is perfect as a wing crossover. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the same hydrofoil that goes in the bottom of this lift E-foil can be used on your wing foil boards. You can cross crossover wings and use them on both. Um, I recently did a review on the Lift 300 Surf V2, which is just excellent on the E-foil, but really great on the wing foil. We talked about the increase in battery life on these more efficient wings, um, and it's significant. You know, Lift says 60 to 90 minutes of runtime per battery charge, but it really depends on how you ride, um, ride the setup. You know, we regularly get two hours out of units that we're teaching in the school just because people are on and off the throttle and do a lot of time swimming and that kind of stuff. But with the uh, new wings, you'll definitely enjoy a larger speed range, um, ease of use because of that speed range, and then increased battery life on average, which is super nice. So my wife and I have four kids and uh, we operate you know, a kite school. So we have jet skis, we've had jet skis for years. I've probably owned, I don't know, 40 jet skis in my lifetime. Um, jet skis are horribly dangerous, especially for young young people. I'd say under the age of 16, maybe even under the age of, of 18. Um, so we don't let our kids ride the jet skis unless we're on board. Um, the e-foils is a completely different deal, especially with the advent of the 15 lightning bolt governor uh, on the remote. Um, my little, little girl, Wisdom, who's 10 years old, um, is going to tell you kind of all about it. I weigh 72 pounds and I am 4 foot 11 and um, I like riding on this one because it's 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 smaller and it's much faster and um, the mast is much longer and I've been riding e-foils for two years now with my dad. Do you like this better than jet skis? What do you think? Um, yeah, I, I like e-foils much much better than why? Jet skis are fun, right? Well, they're like so out of control, kind of. Out of control. Well, you're definitely out of control on the jet skis. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Wisdom. Mm -hmm. So the main move with the kids is you set the governor on the uh, Bluetooth ha uh, hand controller before they even ride. And I usually set it down to like three or four. It's just enough for them to maybe foil. But a lot of times they don't even want to get up on the foil. They just want to motor around sitting or laying on the board. Um, and it's very organic for them because it's weight shift control. So they can kind of hold onto the handles and use the throttle um, to kind of go as fast or as slow as they want based on you know the range you have it set for. And then just shift their weight to the right if they want to go right, shift their weight to the left to go left and kind of putt around. Um, you just got to make sure you're in deep water and that you um, kind of lay out you know, where you want them to stay within. Um, right. Unless you have two units in, go out and, and ride with them. Um, but we've had really good luck with, with our kids, uh, kind of respecting the units and taking care of them. But in terms of like compared to a jet ski, there's no comparison. Like a jet ski weighs 800 pounds and has uh, an enormous amount of liability involved just with something that heavy being driven around by um, young adults, right? 
Okay, so you want an e-foil or two. This is how it is done. Give us a call at the shop, uh, 281-508-645, or email us, sales at houstonkiteboarding.com. We'll make you a custom invoice with exactly what you want, including the wing size, length of mast, if you want to include a folding prop, a Zarg's case for the battery, or anything else you want, including the board color, that kind of thing. We'll send you a custom invoice, pay the invoice, and then within, um, could be a couple days or uh, you know a couple weeks, depending on what size and color you're looking for, um, we'll have your e-foil to you. So lift is about six to eight weeks out on production, but we buy units 10 at a time, uh, months ahead of time. So we actually have them coming and generally are in stock. There's a lot of options, board size and color. So, um, you know, our stock varies, but if you're flexible, we can usually get you one um, faster, you know, than later. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know if you have any questions. Love to get you out on an e-foil of your own.